thanks for joining me. This is a follow-up video on the one I did a couple of weeks ago all about the monitor in the van. So this is the, the TV monitor that's, that shows uh, promotional stuff, menus, um, anything to do with like, the, you know, obviously the van, the selling, which is on a loop screen. So um, this video is all about the loop and the, the media player in the van that's uh, going to be playing the videos up on the, uh, on the monitor. I'll get right into it. What we've got straight away in the cupboard under here is the Minex box. I'll take you around the back and show you that. So let's take you around to the uh, the Minex box in the cupboard. What we'll do is go around the back of the van through the uh, through the rear door. So if we come around here and uh, pop open the side door. What we've got in the cupboard behind the petrol can <laughs> here we go look this is the minex unit so the wires run up the back and in up into the tv in the back there we've got the uh the controller we've got um hdmi going out power source um, and a usb and then we've got the little remote control here that we use inside the van so let's pop back inside and uh, show you how it all works that back in put that back in there and there so it's nice and simple the only wire that's actually going from the minix to the the monitor is just an hdmi cable Ooh. get the door down Bingo. Right then. so as we come round down and into the cupboard from this side here we go, look, we've got the uh, the control panel and everything else here. So what we can do is by switch it on just by pressing the little button on the side. This is just a little press and hold for two seconds and then the unit will power up, automatically starting the monitor. And then up on the screen, it all pops up. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is switch on this uh, remote control. So just turn that on, blue light comes on, and then we have move the little tab around. And what we need to do is get this Google Drive onto the, onto the screen. So obviously, we've got this is the, um, the home screen. So if we go down into the little uh, the world at the bottom, which takes us onto the net. So Google Drive, just go up into the bar at the top there, type in your Google Drive. It's got YouTube because that was the last thing I was using. But uh, yeah, so go into Google Drive and search will find it. There we go. And what you get there is your home screen and anything you want to upload, you just click on it and it'll just upload it to the device you're using. It's a nice, easy way of sharing. You could use the USB stick if you wanted to. There's plenty of slots in the side of the Minex to, to use them as well. All depends on what you want to do. If we just go to the downloads box here, click on that and that will show us where we've downloaded the van video to just there look so we click on that and it just automatically starts playing it into its media player it takes a couple of seconds to load the minix box comes with a built-in media player so we'll use that media player to play the video we can click into the settings put it onto loop and then the video will just continue to scroll and keep playing up on the screen there so this is the screen now running off the minix box which, like I say, with the uh, downloading, we, we download uh, Google Drive to the Minex box, and then you can literally just upload anything to your, to your Google Drive, into your downloads, and play the movie. So it's a case of finding what you want to put on your screen. Uh, if you've got to make a movie, an iMovie, which is what we've done here, just preparation, take your photos, do your, um, editing in iMovie and then upload it to the Google Drive and then bang it onto the screen and the Minex box will just play that over and over and over again it'll just keep playing it around on the built-in media player that's in there and it works really well it's a really nice addition to the van keeps people's attention when you're making coffee serving making thick shakes and it also shows you the park of where we are, you know, the area where we're serving. You can have a, a you know, a decent look around, see what's going on locally.
So I hope that's been of use to you. Like I said, I said I'd put this up there with the uh, fitting of the screen into the van and obviously the, the media player running the multimedia it, it's something else. You do need a player um, to keep the footage flowing. It's not crashed at all in all the time I've had this now. It's, it's been running for about six or seven weeks. Um, yeah. We've not had any issues at all with it crashing. So the Minex box is quite a cheap media player and it works really well. Hello, come here. Originally we were going to put a smart TV in thinking that you could put a USB stick into the side of it with a, a film or a, something we've created on this on the USB stick and the TV would play it But having looked into that it's not as straightforward as that There's a lot of problems a lot of crashing of uh, yeah lots of issues um, With it not revolving and not playing and the yeah formats and all kinds of crazy things So by far the easiest way to do this is to get a media player um, and upload the footage to it and then run it on a scroll off of that. You can use an SD card uh, if you really wanted to as well, that is an option. Or you could even plug the USB stick into the Minex box and play it from that, which is a far better way of doing it than actually using a smart TV and, and plugging a stick straight into that. The Minex box is a media player and it's built for that, this kind of thing. Obviously, you don't have to have a TV license with a monitor, whereas if we'd got a smart TV, we would have to have bought a TV license for the van as well. So I hope that's been a use. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, cleared up the problem that we had with the, you know, what TV to use and all the rest of it. We've now got this super TV playing this video over and over and over again. And we can change it really easily, easily by uh, creating a new video on the iMovie um, and getting it on the TV. So uh, I hope that's been a use. If it has, just drop me a little thumbs up. I love your comments. Always love your comments. Drop me some comments in the comments box below and, uh, and I'll get back to you, um, yeah, with some replies. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs>